Just like in your Google email account, you're also able to customize uh, the look of your uh, Google Calendar. So just like in uh, your email, up here in the settings or the gear button, if you go to labs, you're able to customize the way your calendar actually looks. So for instance, I've enabled the hide morning and night times. I don't, when you open up your, your calendar, it will open up at the particular time that you're opening the calendar at. So I don't need to know um, the blank space between midnight and 8 a.m. or from, let's say, uh, 4 to uh, midnight. So I can, I can make it such that I hide all of that time. You can see here from 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. There's only one, um, one row across, not eight rows. Um, let's see what else I've enabled. I've enabled the allow for attachments. I've enabled, um, let's see, the year view. So if I want to quickly see um, what the calendar looks like for the entire year, you can enable. You can enable that. You can enable a background image. Um, let's see. Uh, I think that's pretty much what I en enabled. You can enable world clock. Um, so if I save that, you'll now notice on the right hand side, here's my year view, and if I hit go, um, I can quickly see uh, what's happening for the entire year when the dates are. Um, if I go back into the settings, um, right here in general, this is where you can customize the date format, the time format. I'm particularly, I, I enjoy military time, so I change that. You can decide when the week starts. Um, how many days you want for that particular week uh, view, what is the default view, do you want it to be the month view. Um, so all of this, ooh, I think I will uh, turn that on. Um, so all of this can be customized based on um, what works for you and what doesn't work for you. I'd highly encourage you to go in and explore um, the possibilities yourself.